testing. You know, it, it's COVID-19 vaccine came out fast, really fast. I mean, if it was a regular vaccine for malaria, it would have to go through testing procedures. It would have to, you would have to look at it if, if it, if it kills insects, if it kills plants, if it kills microbes, if it kills fish, uh -huh. if it kills white rats, yes, it would have to be tested all ahead of time just before I would get it at the drugstore. It was pre-tested. -pre um, though a lot of it was pre-tested from similar vaccines in the past that were used on plants, insects, microbes, things, that, and humans. You know, finally got down to only human. Um, before that thing, COVID-19 uh, basically was just see if it works. And there were test subjects. You had to run through a test subject to see what, what the reaction is. Uh, in the old ways, you would have taken a test subject that was in a U.S. prison system. You pay him $250, uh-huh, and he gets jabbed in the arm, and you're going to find out if it, if it kills him. That's not very good for prisoners. Or makes them sick. Well, you know, they would possibly be sick. Or they would have a, their ears would go to a point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, I'm sitting there, I'm a life prisoner for $250. S stick it to my arm. Swab it on my arm, you know. I don't care. I got the best doctors in the world. I get a toothache, I got a dentist. If I get a pain in my stomach, I got a, uh, I got a doctor. Yes. And under this, as a guinea pig, I'm paid $250 to be jabbed. That's great. I can send home to my mommy. And a lot of people on death row do are, are the best test subjects around. Before him would have been a right rat. Okay. Now, every time a chemical comes out, you have to go through the whole procedures to see how deadly it is or what's the side effect on mice. Oh, well, that used to be that way. In Europe, you got the animal rights group out there screaming bloody murder that you can't pretest this on any animal. Oh my God, the fish might die. Yes, but then a lot of chemicals don't come out. Malaria is having a hard time being tested in Europe because of the animal rights people are screaming, you can't test it on a little white rat or the dog or the cat, which they don't like to use anyway. Uh, white rats and white mice are genetically bred because they come from a sterile environment. I mean, you basically test them on a sterile environment. I, I remember my thing in graduate school, Dr. Mueller, Miller, Michael, had a room full of white mice, and um, we were. I had a Friday night class or something in chemistry class there, and he came in the room and asked, "Who can take home white mice?" And I raised, "Sure, yeah, like, like it. I don't have cats, and I had um, quite a few in my little hatchback cages of white mice." I would brought them home, you know, you fed them water and what have you. And then I'd be told where, where I was going to deliver this, I delivered them to another university. And the reason that we, uh, the professor told us to take them home is his, um, we were going to get raided. Some religious group, because he was doing, he had a contract from the Department of Defense or they're, they're looking how to for DNA. Um, you get the species of mice or rats, mice, and you know this one species, but 
uh, from around the country, they got different mice. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So they get you know mice in to look at the, how to how to look at the mouse and the family of mice to other families coming in for the mixture, everything else. Uh, hey, if he were to got it, they got it instead of somebody else got it, he would have got a Nobel Peace Prize. Even though, you know, the guy who did the genetic thing on that, developed it, got a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. I think he was using protein research too. Huh? Protein? Yeah, you know, with the lines up going up and down the, the piece of paper. And you, you match this stuff. Yeah. Um, somebody else developed it. But the, the lab was raided, and uh, I think uh, I'd say we, well, we took them to some, some other university. Yeah. Oh, well. He could have got a Nobel Peace Prize out of it. Mm -hmm. But on animal testing in Europe, Oh, we can't test an animal because there's some pretty rotten ways of doing cosmetic for women. Um, yes, you develop a cosmetic and you go, you test it on your your mouse to see if they're if it's toxin. Now, when I talk toxin, they don't swab it out of the mouse. They do it by body weight, like you would have a woman put on makeup. Basically, she's not going to swab it all over her body. Yeah. Um, you put a little bit on a mouse to see what any kind of reaction. And the grass would see where the mouse is under a sterile condition, and you can basically buy blood samples out of, out of the mouse. A human being, oh, humans eat, human beings eat crap. I eat crap. She eats crap. She eats crap. Come back, I eat crap. You know, really weird stuff. Uh, before we get to that stage, uh, of course, they something like makeup. What they do is um, they pay a person two hundred and fifty dollars to use makeup or sunscreen. Yes, um, they uh, per paying each person two hundred and fifty dollars is usually the person sitting in a federal prison system very likely life in prison or um, that where he the person's under control system uh, they transfer these people to another facility another state another federal prison systems and they're the test subjects and every time they get poked in the arm they get two hundred fifty dollars hey if I was a federal prisoner and I had life in prison you could put me in that thing two hundred fifty dollars is very good at the commissary but you better know it. And you can order things. You know, TV set. Books. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the old saying, they're good for trading, too. Hey, I got a box of chocolate. That says a lot in the prison system. But, how do I know? Okay, I got relatives sitting in the prison system. How do I know? I got relatives sitting in the prison system. You know, they're guinea pigs. Of course. Not like the um, southern jails. You know. But, again, vaccines. The COVID-19 wasn't, they, they were, they had test subjects. They had to give a test subject. And they were crossing their fingers because of what could happen. It could be person can be killed or in the thing COVID-19 somebody they have a COVID-19 okay you give somebody COVID-19 you give them a vaccine and then you give them COVID-19 does he does he develop COVID-19 you'll find out within a week right the only other way was go get get a mouse and do that way so, yeah, it came out fast. It just bypassed all the other testing procedures. Malaria vaccine <laughs> had to go through a bunch of testing procedures before that thing. That means somebody, a test subject like 
sitting in a prison system, I would get the vaccine and then I would contract the malaria virus. And if the vaccine worked, I didn't get the virus. And if it didn't, I got sick. Mm. But COVID-19 came out without a lot of testing procedures. Oh yeah, they you know they, they did test subject and these first people got it, these people didn't get it, and you know, test subjects like that. Were they federal prisons? I don't know, but uh, I got my four shots, so I guess it works somewhere along the line. But the animal rights people say, "Oh, you can't use the animals. Can't you do this? You can't do that." Then what's the other procedure? Regulations of every chemical sitting in Europe has to be tested. That's the regulation. It has to be tested up and down, sidewards, in and out. So what happens? They're going to use animals. They're going to use more mice. Yep. So the heavier the regulations on a chemical is, more mice are going to be subject. And the animal rights people, okay, you know, there's, there's a solution to this. Stick out your arm. You have all nice people, oh no, we won't do that. Okay, then my comment to you, the vaccine will not be released to you. And if your people get, uh, get sick from this disease, then they die. You won't stick out your arm now. You're not going to, we're not going to give it in the future. And they're, they're, you know, the animal rights people say, oh, we're going to stop this. We're going to stop. Oh, that's great in your glory. But again, like cosmetics, who's going to be the test subject? So what do they do with something now? They go to an African, they go to Africa. Europeans say you can't use it on us. Well, the group are going to go to Africa. Or they're going to do is take the sample and send it to China, where they don't have to worry about restrictions, animal rights, or population. Or you really get desperate, you can send it to North Korea, pay them for human subjects. That's right. If it's a rat or a mouse in North Korea, it's dinner. That's the world we live in, folks. And uh, when European, when Europe gets filled up with more and more people, uh huh, and life becomes meaningless, then you got some test subjects. Why they won't do that? Oh yes, they will. For two hundred fifty dollars. Can I stick this needle in your arm? You can't do that. That's right, you can't do that, can you? Well, I don't do, I, I, when the mice, well, as I said, the mice went back to one of the universities and uh, that, that thing. But yeah, you know, um, I wouldn't subject my cats to any kind of this testing. Uh, you, st you stick it into me before you stick it to my cat, my child. Yeah, my cats are my children. My little brothers. Yes, I will protect them. Now, you have a hand, Mac. Let's see if it grows your ears. Maybe it will get you a tail. Hmm. But definitely it's going to get your horns. <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. You're sick. Oh, well.